Hello Gemini, welcome to Brutally True Tarot and this reading is about you versus them. This reading is about a third party situation, so in case you have a third party in your life, you can watch this reading. First we will pull out six cards for you and uh, then for the third person and we'll try to find out how your person sees you and the third person and what's actually going on. So let's start. Passages for Gemini. Six of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Passages for the third person. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, and Eight of Swords. Okay, so looks like that things are really horrible between your person and this third person. Okay, because I think that this third person is expecting a lot from your person and this person feels like that they are being compared to other constantly. With this Eight of Swords, this person could be someone who is quite social and uh, who has many contacts and uh, continuously this third person is trying to show your person that how relationships work and what others are doing in their relationship, what they are supposed to do and they are not being good enough. It's like pushing them to do something and uh, your person here is acting like Knight of Swords, okay? They feel triggered. They feel annoyed and um, I think there is a lot of arguments going on between this person and your person. They are totally lost and um, they feel like that there is something not right about each other. Specifically your person feels like that they have been tricked into something. Knight of Pentacles is about someone who appears like a doll and uh, who appears like a magic but uh, you know the reality is that that this person is totally different one they have this dark side of their personality and now your person is aware of that this person feels like all this time this third person was pretending to be nice pretending to be loving and pre pretending to be caring and um, now they are aware that it's not that simple this person is quite ambitious, this third person is quite ambitious and uh, they are expecting a lot from this person. And most importantly, not only this person, but their family members, their friends, everyone is being a problem for this person, I mean your person. Okay, it's like they are constantly being uh, told what they should do and what they shouldn't. They are struggling with their family members and with their friends and they are struggling to fit in their circle. So it's kind of weird for them, for now at least. Maybe this third person has a better um, social circle than this person and uh, somehow your person feels insulted. You know, their ego is hurt. And then here you have Six of Swords. This person feels like that you have escaped the pain. 
They know that they have hurt you, they have given you a lot of pain, they have given you every reason to walk away or to leave this behind. So now this person knows that you are already on your way and you have left this burning city and you don't care. A Nine of Pentacles is also here. This person feels like that you got what you are looking for. Maybe they feel like that you are in a relationship with someone. Or even if you are not in a relationship with someone, they look at your lifestyle and they feel like that you have got family, friends and the people who love you and there is nothing wrong about your life. Moreover, this person also feels like that they could have got these 10 of cups had they would have uh, chosen you. Okay, so it's like um, they are not regretting. They feel like that they have lost these 10 of cups by themselves and they want to make things correct but maybe it's too late already they feel like that you have already left and um, things are just not right for them at least for now i think they are struggling with something badly okay however this is a general reading this is not going to resonate for all and then it could be worse as well also you can check your moon and rising time let's go ahead and check some more messages for you messages for gemini Eight of Wands. Four of Swords. And the Lovers. Messages for the third person. Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. And Seven of Swords. Okay, so two of swords is here. Maybe it's been too tough for them to stay in this relationship. This person is already at a point where they are thinking whether to stay or to leave. This person is giving it a second thought. And um, we have eight of wands here. This person, this person feels like that they need to stop you before you move on. They can see that you and them have these eight of wands here. You both have given a lot of effort, love and affection in this relationship. They know that this is something that has grown over the time. And uh, there is a lot beneath the surface as well. I think you can expect to listen from this person. Here we have two of swords. They have doubts in their mind whether to stay or not. It's been too tough for them to keep up with this relationship. It's like walking on this thread or rope and uh, they feel like it's been tough for them to maintain a balance and at the same time they are thinking of reaching out to you you can expect some kind of news from them okay here we have nine of swords with this nine of swords this person is scared of this person somehow they feel like that this person is dominating them this person is judging them this person is um, you know humiliating them and also this person has trust issues. Here you see seven of swords. This person feels like that they need to keep an eye over them, always. They need to watch this third person always. You know, this third person is not being open. This third person is quite mysterious. This third person is not transparent. And they have a lot of mysteries. So your person feels like that uh, they are struggling to connect with this third person because this person is quite mysterious and they, are, and they are not opening up. They are not giving any explanations to your person. And moreover, here you have this card of the lovers. Okay, I think not only this person, but this third person is also kind of suspicious of their activities. 
because they clearly can see that they feel the love for you. The lovers is here, that means that uh, there is still this strong connection. This person is still in love with you. Somewhere you are still in their fantasies and uh, they want to be close to you. They miss you physically. Okay, maybe there is this physical intimacy that drives them crazy. They are missing it in their current relationship or they are missing it in this third person. They just cannot cut you off. And then here you have four of swords. All of this person, of, this person is uh, scared of getting rejected, okay? Four of swords, it's all about something that is um, gone already and uh, maybe something that is not going to happen once again. This person is hopeless with this nine of swords. This person fe feels like that uh, they have made a mistake and um, they cannot keep their mind off you. This person is struggling in their current relationship. So this was a reading about you versus them. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.